did you know that there was a new scene brief integration tool for Microsoft Flight Simulator and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024? No? Well, be sure to stay tuned to this video to find out more. So basically, you're going to need to go to the Simbrief website, head over to the software downloads page. Um, as you can see here, Simbrief dispatch for Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, then there's the instructions here, uh, where you'll need to download the file and then place it into the Microsoft Flight Sim community folder. So straight away, you can head to the download for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 button. Make that download. Once you've downloaded it, you need to make sure you have a extraction package installed on your PC. So I would use Renoir. Uh, once extracted the download, you're going to need to locate your community Microsoft Flight Simulator directory. Um, and it's just basically a case of copying and pasting the file which is just downloaded into the community section within the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. And then you can head straight into the game. Once you've loaded into the game, you will now see that you have this new Simbrief button down here. So click on that. Um, then you'll have to ensure that you're signing in uh, via your Navigraph account. Um, basically just press sign in and then you have to go to navigraph.com slash code. You have to input a code to verify yourself and then you'll be signed in. And then you'll see there are quick links. There's uh, an option to create a new flight plan. Uh, view the latest flight plan that you've made. Um, you can view the user guide and get technical support. And then underneath you also see recent flights and it will show uh, recent flights that you have just completed. So that's correct. I've just gone from London Stansted to Hamburg, which is correct. And I'll see the one before uh, down to Dusseldorf, I believe. Um, so if you want to create a new flight plan, you just basically go to new flight. And then once it loads, as you can see, it almost looks like Simbrief from the actual website, but it's actually in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So just as normal, just like you would do on the Simbrief website, you just create a flight plan. So once you've filled in the flight plan, the usual bits of information, the airline, uh, the runway departing and arriving, uh, you still get the airframe that you're flying with. Uh, select the departure runway and the arrival runway. You will then see there's different options at the top, such as generating the flight, calculate and compare, briefing, preview. Uh, you can save the flight for later on as an example. You can share the flight and also make a new flight. Um, if you're happy with the flight plan that you've created, you can press generate. So it generates the flight plan for you. It only takes a few seconds to load, as you can see. So it's not too long at all. It's loading the briefing. There we are. So it loads now. And then there's one final thing that you need to do is you need to press this button here where it says import into sim. So press that. Wait for it to load. Again, it doesn't take very long, only a few seconds. And then it says the import has finished. Once we have generated the flight, you will then see that you have got the different information at the top. So you've got your waypoints, you've got the SID, you've got the star, you've got, you got your departure runway, you've got your arrival runway. Um, you can see the, the different waypoints. You can see the runway you're taking off from. Uh, you can see that the arrival is going to be direct. And then you can select your aircraft and then you can load as normal. Now, one thing to mention once you've loaded into the game, if you head to the top where the icons are, there is a new icon there called Simbrief Dispatch. If you select that, wait for it to load for a couple of seconds. And then you get this little kind of small interface. So from here, you're able to view essentially what was back in the main menu where you're able to see the new flights. You can edit the flight. You can even view your flight plan literally from this section here. Uh, you can view your saved flights, saved airframes, and then you can head over to weather and no terms. And you can head down here, find about the weather, different bits like that. And quite a handy little bit of information to have just from the top of the main menu here. And of course, like normal, when you go to the aircraft, just make sure to import your Simbri flight plan, like usual, into the EFB. And then it should load up without any problems at all. Of course, also remembering that you'll still need to request the data. As an example, here we're using the Phoenix A320. You can just use the data request from the init page. Something which is also useful within the Simbrief add-on 
interface in the main menu is you can also find out your takeoff performance information and your landing performance information again another nice feature to have so there you go guys i hope you found that video useful let me know your thoughts on the Simbrief Dispatch interface for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, apparently there's also reports that this will also work in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Uh, so be sure to leave a like, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video.